can't really explain. There's a lot more going on than we know, and there's a reason why they went to this comet and rendezvous with this. Because this thing, really to me, it had something miraculous going on, and they wanted to take a closer look. I think that's why they spent the money and the resources to go to this comet. Was this comment part of the Torrid Meteor stream, or...? No, it wasn't. It's just another one of these objects that uh, seemed to just be floating around on its own, kind of a rogue comet, and we rendezvous with it, and uh, it's, it's got weird things going on, weird gravitational fields that shouldn't exist. Uh, they landed something called the Filet Lander on it, and they, they misjudged the gravity because based on their calculations, it has a certain gravity, and it didn't have it. Look at that. Austin, blow up that picture where it says the comet in, uh, in rel relationship to Los Angeles. Like, no, yeah, right there. Right there, right there. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, shit. That's a big one. That's a big one. That thing is enormous. Yeah. I think that, the, there's one below it. Of it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could hardly be done. Be finished. Oh, my God. There's another comet out there called Apophis. Apophis is the size of Texas. And it came by uh, about 10 years ago. And then it came by one more time and it hit a gravitational keyhole in the last swing bar right between the Earth and the moon. Nobody they didn't say anything about it until it left. It came closer than the moon? Yeah. And then it hit a gravitational keyhole. I was interested about it. How, how big was the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs? You know? Uh, I don't know. So when you deal with that kind of speed and impact. Well, the crazy thing too is a lot of them blow up in the sky, right? Like Tunguska, I think it exploded, I think five miles in the sky and just yeah. created like a shotgun blast. Right, and everything for miles. Yeah. yeah. Crazy stuff. So these things are, these, you know, this is so much stuff out there. There's another object that orbits our Earth with the moon. With the moon. So we actually have two moons. There's another object that's flipping around up there and it's on orbit around Earth. It's not as big as the moon, but it's, it's our second moon. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's been there for, you know, since forever. And uh, it's on this weird uh, orbit around Earth. It orbits Earth, along with our moon orbiting Earth. Double you know, there's a lot of rainbow. A lot of people have some very um, strange theories about the moon. Yeah. What do you think about the moon? Well, I can only go by data points, because, you know, I'm a data point guy. If you go to USGS.gov and download this satellite radar imagery of the moon, anyone can do this pull it into your computer, radar, pe ground penetrating radar is going to let you see what's 30 meters beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. And what you see is what looks like structures beneath the surface of the moon. With the naked eye, remember, they claimed they crashed, but I knew that was part of the plan to leave it there. But it transmitted some amazing no, footage that it's that's strongest available actually right. online, anyone can download in HD resolution, unobfuscated, of things that don't belong on the backside of the moon. It is, you know, the craziest thing too is that we can't freaking get back to the moon. It's been some, about 50 years since we've been to the moon, and we can't seem to get, I mean, right now, the, I don't know, did the Artemis mission ever, ever happen? I know it's, it, they postponed it like three or four times already. Yeah, there's so many postponements about it, and, and uh, you know, I don't know if it's, uh, now I know we do have that, they left that dish up there in one of the Apollo 14 or 15 missions, mm -hmm. and every single day, they transmit a packet of data from Earth to that dish in a structure called Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah. Like Mount Rushmore, like, like these things will, will still be there, these big giant stone uh, structures. But everything else, like like computers, everything else will be dust. And uh, he's like, one of the things that we should be doing is saving or well, this digitizing everything get on, get on, over there. on the moon. So that's what they're doing, because they're transmitting satellite communication. You have to have a place, a storehouse of information almost like the, a, a, you know, a chamber of knowledge mm -hmm. that one can tap into and open up. And all the schematics, all the plans and everything else is right there for you. Mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I, there, was a, there was an article, I forget how long ago now the article came out, maybe, a, maybe about six months ago, but I think it was a Chinese rover spotted like some sort of black box on the surface of the moon. Yeah. And it was going to take... Sun so reflecting off that. The rover was so slow, it was <clears throat> He's blocked the flats over there. He got stuck in debris. He got tangled in debris. What is debris doing on the moon? And they sent one image back and they had these things in the like that rocks or something. No, but they sent the images in the image. It looks like bent wires and stuff all over the place and they couldn't get free of it. And so this is their second one. Yeah. Now India sent uh, the India University, they have a, a college there. They raised three million dollars. Not back from India.
Indian, uh, Indian space agency and it blew everybody away because it was like, holy crap, it looks like Earth, but it was Mars. Yeah. And there's these <laughs> images from the Indian space agency and they're online right now? Yeah, they're up there. It's obviously right here. Awesome. 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 Awesome.